Marcello. 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 And Marcello, uh, or Neil, tell who he is, please. The president of the Amateur Astronomers Association of New York. This is an organization that I was a member of as a kid growing up in the Bronx. Not that he's been president for that long. No. no. <laughs> but, but you so, are so, the so, most, uh, what? most famous alumni of the association. Okay, I would say. well, thank you. Oh, but wow. I, I don't know, but there's some good people in there. She'll give you like a plaque, a little honor. You take it. So how many? How many? What's the membership? Um, well, it varies, but it's about 900 active members and about 3,000 to 4,000 active followers. Okay, so we are now on. Where, where are we? We're here on the High Line. And High Line. What's the reason we're here, man? I mean, you guys do something. We do observing. We bring telescopes here every Tuesday, every Tuesday night. Like on the High this Line. This spot right here, here. somewhere. Like a little bit. North of the beyond the trees, I presume. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And it depends. If we're looking at an object east, we may go to 14th Street and look with the telescope on 14th Street, where we get a better view. 14th Street cuts completely through Manhattan. Yes. Yes. It's one of the. I imagine Manhattan that's the, one of the toughest. Like actually getting a. I, I'll. I don't want to spoil it, but I think people might be surprised to learn how easy it is to do yeah. astronomy in New York City, or relatively. Yes, it but is. I'd say the sight line, like finding a clear spot to look at more of the sky, because you lose a lot of it in the tall buildings and the trees. And absolutely. Well, there is a little bit of planning. Um, we want to stay away from trees, buildings. Those are the objects we can predict. Sometimes we have clouds. Oh yeah. Cannot predict that. Even professional astronomers hate so, clouds. So in Manhattan, <laughs> they have to stay away from buildings. Yeah. That, figure that one out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we also go to uh, Lincoln Center uh, throughout oh, summer. Yeah. We were doing Fridays and Saturdays. Just in the plaza. In the plaza, next mm -hmm. to the fountain, surrounded by very three, uh, three very tall buildings with lights aiming at us. <laughs> that was a challenge. So what did we do? Well, we you get someone who has a gun and oh. shoots out the lights. <laughs> or, 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 uh, We're not advocating for that. You know what I used to do as a kid? You, you uh, uh -oh. I had early access to high intensity light. Okay. And so I would go up to the street lights and at night you would just go up to their light sensor and you'd aim the beam of light at it and it would turn off because it would think it was daytime. Okay. Yeah. That's clever. And what is the statute yeah. of limitations on that uh, minor <laughs> infraction? <laughs> now that you just confess. And, and a green laser does it really well. If it's nowadays, it's like timed and radio signals for many of the and lasers are the, uh, illegal. Green now. lasers are illegal because yes. those can be dangerous if you point them at, at I, 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 sky I got people. And who, stuff. Uh, I got people. Okay. You you have these people? No, I do not. I got these people. I don't have I don't have green laser people. <laughs> Yeah, but listen, so, so, so you go you to people, you go where you people can are. And organize a blackout. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you have enough In lasers. fact, you know what I think? I oh, think. wait. There's your plan, I'm Marcella. staying out of this. Here's the thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I Star think. Talk's the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Star Talk fans. We planned that. <laughs> so I think the three famous blackouts that happened in New York City, oh. I think the Amateur Astronomers Association was behind it. <laughs> that they created the blackout and they wanted to force everyone to just notice stuff. Right. Because if all of New York City Don't turns do it in off, August anymore. <laughs> I wasn't here for that, but I heard it, it was turns brutal. Off, we need that oh AC. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if that happens, then people come out. First, they're not indoors, so they come out, what, what happened? And then, like, stars in the Milky Way. And all of a sudden, the sky starts talking to them. Yeah. 